Greetings everyone and welcome back. Here's something powerful. The Super Power Buck Converter Port. A powerful power module that can output voltage ranging from 3 volt to 12 volt depending on the source added. Its input voltage range from 10 volt to 28 volt. The goal was to build a power management board from scratch that could be utilized to supply 5 volt 3 amps from a 12 volt battery source for a future Latte Wanda project. By the way, I have published a brief build guide about this project on Instructables which you can check out. The link is in the video description. The step down converter IP6505 that we are using in this case has a maximum output power of 24 watt and several PD output voltages ranging from 3 volt to 12 volt. The IP6505, a step down converter with an inbuilt synchronous switch that can handle an output of 10 amps for fast charging protocols is the star of this project. The typical output configuration include 3 volt at 3 amps, 5 volt at 3 amps, 7 volt at 3 amps, 9 volt at 2.5 amps and 12 volt at 2 amps. We created an initial layout using the IP6505 datasheet as a guide. It included a few registers and capacitors linked to the IP6505 in the suggested setup. In order to create an all surface mount board that can be utilized as a module in an upcoming project, we employ all SMD components in this case. To put it simply, the user can add this board as a surface mount device to another PCB by using SMD technology. Following the creation of the board schematic, we move on to the PCB design. This included creating a 40 mm by 30 mm board with input terminals on one side and the USB on other. According to the datasheet, the IP6505 is positioned in the center and the input and output capacitors are positioned as close to the IP6505 as possible. Following the completion of board design, we ordered a yellow solder mask with white sunscreen and submitted the PCB's Gerber data on PCBWay's code page. PCBs were received within a week and the PCB quality was outstanding. Here, we added few design elements on the board sunscreen layer to increase the aesthetic appeal of the project. PCBWay made the custom layer properly which shows their great PCB manufacturing capabilities. Over the past 10 years, PCBWay has distinguished themselves by providing outstanding PCB manufacturing and assembly services, becoming a trusted partner for countless engineers and designers worldwide. You guys can check them out if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. Using a solder paste dispensing needle, we first added the solder paste to each component pad one by one. Next, we pick and place all the SMD components in their place on the PCB using ESD tweezer. With extreme caution, we lifted the completed circuit board and place it on the SMT hot plate, which increases the PCB temperature to the point at which solder paste melt and all the components are connected to their pads. Next, we added the USB port in place and then solder its pad with the bottom side of circuit using the soldering iron. The circuit is now completed. The result of the PCB assembly process is this power module, which can provide a consistent output between 3 volt and 12 volt, depending on the source. To test this board, we first connected it with our previously made DIY bench power supply, which you can check out from here. We gave this power module 13 volt by connecting the bench power supply's alligator clip to the module's input terminal. We connected our multimeter to the output side and the result shows 5.1 volt, indicating that the setup was successful. When several PD devices are connected, the output voltage may vary. After that, we attach a Latte Panda version 1 to the PCB module's output port by the USB cable and the device powered up as anticipated. The power module is operating as intended. The primary goal of this project was to create a tiny power module that resembles the MHKC24 power module that I have previously used in another project. Since this module was bulky and difficult to use while working on a small project, we modified the schematic and used the exact same IC in our project. 
With our power module, we will be preparing a Latte Panda handheld device, which will be shared soon in a different video. This project was a success and need no further revision. In addition, we would appreciate PCBWay support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil services, PCB assembly services, as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.